Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the vulture for Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm going to get started in the middle of my page with the eyes. So let's start on the left side with a circle, starting from the top. And work our way around and then back up towards the top. In the middle we're going to draw a slightly smaller circle. So again, starting from the top. We're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right side. So now we want to start by lining up the top. Draw the same size circle. And then in the middle, again, we're going to draw a smaller circle. Now from here, I just want to draw on the edge of the visor. So I'm going to start by drawing a curve along the top of the eyes. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to go over towards the right. From here, I just want to curve down and in. From these two points, I want to draw a straight line going up towards the middle. So I'm going to start by drawing a little point in the middle. On the left side, we'll draw a straight line up to that point, and we'll come down on the right side. On the inside edge, we're going to draw two angle lines coming in. So just on the left side here, draw an angle line coming down. Do the same thing on the right side. And then I'm going to draw a curve just above the eyes for the eyelids. So starting from that corner, curve over the eye, Pull that down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So I want to line up the inside edge, curving out towards the top corner. Right up in the top here, I just want to draw a little detailed notch. So on the left side, I'll angle in, do the same on the right, and then we'll just connect those two points with a straight line. Now just below the visor, we're going to start by drawing the center part of the mask. So just down here, I'm going to draw a little point. From that point, I'm just going to angle up and out towards the left. Going back to the center, we'll go up and out towards the right. Now in the middle, we're just going to draw a short straight line coming down. Now I just want to draw two lines coming out towards the chin. Then we're going to come down with a straight line, a little short line coming down. We're just going to square off the chin with a straight line. On the left side here, just below the eye, I want to draw in the hose that comes out and around the helmet. So we're going to start with a little C shape first. So directly below the eye, we draw a backward C. Now this hose is going to go around and then behind the helmet, so I'm just going to draw the lower part first. So this line underneath the visor, we're just going to continue this with a short line coming out. Same thing with the bottom, we're just going to come out with a straight line. Now we're going to go in and draw in the bottom part of the mask. So from this point, I just want to angle down and out. We're going to do the same thing on the right, so we're going to go slightly upwards, just to the side of the jaw. Now from this point, I just want to draw on the side of the helmet. So this is going to curve up to right about here. So I'm going to start at the top here, curve around the visor slightly, and then down in towards the jaw. Now I'm going to take that and just flip it over on this side. So because the hose is going to go around the helmet, I want to draw the side of the helmet first. So from this point, I just want to curve up, just like I did on the right side, to the same height. So right here, we're just going to curve down, and then right into that point of the hose. From these two points, I want to connect it with the top of the, the helmet, with almost like a half circle up to right about here and bring that down on the right side. Now that I've drawn in the side of the helmet, I can wrap the hose around the back. So from this point, I'm going to round it out, I'm going to go up in an angle and then curve it back in behind the helmet. Now this bottom part, I just want to leave that same thickness all the way around. So from this point, I'm just going to go out even further, go up and go up along the side an angle line and then I'm going to curve that back in behind the helmet. Now let's add some ribs along the, the hose. So right down here I'm just going to draw a curve. Now along the back here I just want to draw a series of these curves going all the way around this way. So I'm leaving a gap. Now I'm just going to spread it out along the bottom here. Just kind of straighten out. And as I get to the corner I'm just going to turn it again. So we're going to go up a little bit higher and just taper it in. And let's wrap this in behind the helmet. Now from this corner of the chin, I'm going to go straight up towards the bottom corner of the visor. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a straight line coming down. We'll do the same thing on the left. From this corner, we're just going to go up in behind the hose. And then right here, just below the eye, I'm just going to draw another circle. On the inner part of the mask, I'm just going to draw two curves coming down towards the chin. So stepping over, curve in, and then down. Do the 
same thing on the right side. Let's add some ribs along the top of the helmet. So we're gonna draw two angle lines coming down, starting from the left side. Just gonna aim for that little corner right there. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're gonna go out and draw the same angled line. And then we'll go to the side of the helmet and draw one more. Just on the inside of the circle, I'm just gonna draw a little tinier circle, just for a little added detail. Okay, so now that we got the helmet, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna start with the collar first. So just below the chin, down here, I'm gonna draw a little point. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and out toward the left and behind the helmet. Do the same thing on the right side. Now the collar is quite furry, so we're gonna add a few little spikes that come in towards that center point. So we start on the outside here, curve around this way. Starting down here, we're gonna curve around. And we're just gonna pull that back slightly just to create a little fur tip. We're gonna continue this pattern all the way until we get to that center point. So we just wanna make sure that we're aiming towards the center. Draw one more here. And then just pull that right in. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing. So I'm gonna start right up here, curve around. I'm just trying to match up what I have on the left side as I'm drawing it on the right. Making sure I don't go too low. One more and then just connect it in the middle. Now from here we're going to tuck the side of the body down underneath the collar. So right in here, starting on the left, I'm just going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to connect those two points with a curve for the lower part of the jacket. Now let's add in the straps. So on either side here, we're going to draw an upside down triangle. Starting on the left side, start with a short line coming across. Connect those two points down in the middle. I'm just going to draw a smaller upside down triangle on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting at the top, just lining it up. Come down in towards the middle at the bottom and then we'll draw a smaller upside down triangle inside. Now from the top, we wanna to draw two straps coming up underneath the collar. So we're gonna step in from the corners just slightly. So a little bit of an overlap. Do the same thing on the right. Now in the center, we're gonna go across with the strap. So coming down from the top, straight across, and then from the bottom. Now from this angle, we're gonna come down towards the side of the body. Now in the middle of the jacket, there's a zipper. So we're gonna draw two lines just side by side coming down in behind that strap. Now down below the jacket, we're gonna start in the middle, just down here, we're gonna draw a curve from left to right going up and then down for the lower torso. From the left side, we're gonna step in, curving down and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. This is going down towards the heel. On the left side, we're going to draw in the boots. So now he's got these two claws that stick out. So we're going to start with a short curve that comes across. Coming down, about halfway along the foot. Now halfway along here, we're going to draw an oval. We're going to draw a smaller oval on the inside. Now we're going to draw the front claw first. So right on the side of this oval, we're going to draw two lines coming out. So at the bottom, go up. And then on the top, we're going to go a little bit longer. Now from this point, I want to hook it down. And at the top, I'm just going to connect it down toward the bottom point of the claw. Now with the bottom of the foot, I just want to continue this in behind the claw to the tip of the foot. So right here, curving in behind the claw, I'm just filling that gap there. From this point, I want to draw the top of the foot coming down in towards that little oval, right where the claw meets the oval there. Going up, and we'll pull that down. Now at the top of the foot, I want to taper out to the side of the oval. And at the bottom, we're just going to add a little sole. So taking this curve and just duplicating it right above. All the way towards the heel. Now up here from the hip, we're going to curve down towards the top of the foot. Up above the foot, we're going to draw a curve from left to right to the top of the boot. And we're going to add a little strap up here. So we're going to take that same curve right here and we're going to draw that twice. Now we're going to take this claw and just duplicate it in behind the foot. So we start with these two lines first. So this angle, going up, and we'll hook it down. And we 
draw the outside part of the claw, going up to right about there, and we're going to draw an angled line in behind the foot. Let's take that and draw the same thing on the right side. So we start with a curve along the bottom first, about halfway along the foot. We're drawing that oval right here. Then we'll draw a smaller oval on the inside. Now let's draw the first claw. So on the side of that oval, we're gonna go up in an angle, and we can just curve this down towards the tip. We're gonna go up at the same angle, and then curve down towards the tip of the claw. And we're going to complete the foot, so we're going in behind the claw, going out towards the tip of the foot. Now from here, again, we're going to go up to the top and just come in towards that little intersection point. Going up, and then just pulling that down. I want to draw the little strap, so we're going to the outside, curving up and just tapering towards the top of the foot. We're going to add the little sole, starting from the heel, curve in behind the claw, and out towards the tip of the foot. We can add the second claw in behind here. So starting with this line, we'll hook it down, we'll hook it back up, and then draw a straight line angling in behind the toe. Now from the hip, I just want to curve down towards that point at the top of the foot. Let's add the top of the boot cuff, it's curving from left to right, and then we'll add that strap. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to the pants. So on the left side here, we're going to step in and just draw that same curve in behind the strap and the boot. Just curving down, and we'll continue just below. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Okay, so now that we got the legs, let's go up and draw in the arms. So about halfway along the body right here, we're going to curve down and out for the inner part of the arm. Right here, we're going to draw a little half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we're just going to draw a little bracket. Now at the bottom curve of the thumb, we're just going to swirl around the bracket and pull it up. We draw the second finger, so down here, we're just going to curve it out and up. And then the third finger is going to go all the way up underneath the collar. Going around and pulling that up. From this point in the wrist, we're just going to curve down and out towards the outside part of the arm. And then again, we're going to add a little uh, strap up in here, just like we did with the leg. Curving in, and we'll draw that twice. Let's take that arm and flip it over on the right side. Starting at the top, on the inside part of the arm, we're going to curve down and out. Round out the thumb with a half circle, and then just draw, draw a little bracket at the end. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll swirl around the bracket and pull that up. Step down, do another curve. Now the third finger, we're going to go all the way up underneath the collar. Going out, just aiming up underneath the collar here. We're going to add the cuff of the sleeve, so from the wrist, and we'll add that little strap, starting up here. Now the final thing I want to do is add some wings on the side here, so we're just going to simplify this a little bit. So on the side of the collar here, I'm just going to draw an angled line going up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right, so we want to line this up. Now we're going to come down with an angle towards the tip of the wing. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm just going to draw a little bevel in the inside. So from here, I'm just going to come across. And I'm just going to lengthen that up just a little bit more. Come across with a short line. I'm going to come back and just trace out the inside. So from here, I'm just going to go up, just fall on that same angle, and then we'll come down in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's continue down the wing. So on the left side here, I'm just going to continue this line going out. Then we'll angle that back in. We're going to step down from here, go straight across the angle line, come back down again. Just follow that same angle that we have on top. Step down, going up, and then we'll just do one more. Coming down, and we'll pull that up in underneath the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So just following the same line, coming down to here, taking the same angle, and then coming in. I'm going to follow the same line from the inside of the wing going out. Angle this back in. And just one more time. Coming out. Come in. We're just going to pull that up underneath the arm. Now the wing sort of goes in between the arm and the body here. So we're going to just draw a little line from the arm in towards the hip on both sides. 
And one final little detail, I just want to add a little trim along the edge of the wing. So taking this angle, we're just going to step in, just draw a little angle line like that. We're going to draw that on all the tips of the wings, going across. Do the same thing on the right side. Finally at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe. We post new lessons seven days a week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.